Those of you who like to watch my carp fishing videos will know that I like to use a method lead, a hair rig, and a fake piece of corn to catch carp. Works extremely well. The biggest downside though is the method lead is a piece of specialty carp gear and it's really hard to find here in the United States. Um, I generally get mine from England either through specialty uh, carp fishing stores like bigcarptackle.com or I order them from overseas or I get them on my trips to the UK. They run about a dollar to four dollars a piece just for one of these leads so they're kind of pricey. So that is a big obstacle for a lot of people who want to get into carp fishing but are on a budget. So I'm going to show you how to make your own method lead with just easy stuff you can find here in the hardware stores in the United States. So what I have here are some number eight bait hooks. I've got some one ounce egg sinkers. Got some number seven swivels from Eagle Claw. And I have inch and a half drywall anchors. Okay, first things first, take the egg sinker and feed it onto your main line. Then take the drywall anchor and clip the tip off so that uh, you have clear access all the way through the drywall anchor. And then feed it through with the flared out part on the bottom facing the swivel. Then take one of the swivels and do a polymer knot and attach it to the main line. And uh, then take your uh, hook and tie yourself a hair rig. And if you don't know how to tie a hair rig, here's a link to a video where I explain how to do that. But at any rate, pull the swivel up inside the drywall anchor like that. And that's your rig right there. There's your do-it-yourself method lead. Now, you'll often see me use a baiting needle. And those are also another specialty piece of equipment. Here's how you make your own baiting needle. Take an Eagle Claw weighted jig head hook and just simply straighten out the hook. Uh, the Eagle Claw brand hooks are low carbon, so they bend pretty easy without breaking. And the jig head makes a nice little handle so it's easier to grab. And uh, there you go. Some really easy baiting needles. For bait, instead of fake corn, which is sometimes hard to find, I use a piece of foam. A little torn off piece of foam looks like a tiny piece of white bread. And uh, when you're using panko and stuff, it's a great artificial lure. So carp love bread. So a little bit of white foam works really well. So just uh, pierce it on the baiting needle, hook it onto the hair rig, slide it onto the hair rig, and you're good to go. Now instead of bait stops, which uh, also are hard to find here in the States, just use a little twig. Any little small, all long, thin thing will work as a, a bait stop. So there you go. There's... A do-it-yourself method led with only items you can find right here in the States, uh, pretty much anywhere. You can also, instead of doing a hair rig, you can just bait hook um, a piece of foam. And now let me show you this rig in action. Uh, kind of, This is how it works. You pack a, the pack bait around the anchor and you dip the little bit of foam into some carp flavor, like this uh, jello syrup I'm using, and you're off to the races. Yeah, yeah, there. Hold on, hold on, let me. You wanna reel them in? Okay, reel them in, buddy. Reel them in. Woo! We caught one! There we go. Woo! And then there we go, go! <laughs> yeah, yeah. There we go. It works right there. Drywall anchor, method lead. All right, let's get them unhooked. Well, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new. I hope, uh, had a good time. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to click subscribe to the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel. We put out new videos multiple times a week. Thanks for watching.